any time that uh, our commander chief puts armed forces in harm's way, we consider every potential response. Carefully examine the possibility of a response by Syria or by its allies, Russia uh, and Iran, in this calculation. And the president made the decision to target chemical weapons uh, facilities, uh, having counted all the cost and the potential uh, of those decisions. John Roberts is live at the White House with the very latest on this story. John? Kelly, good afternoon. The president's still at work here at the White House today. He's uh, working the phones, talking with the U.K. Prime Minister Theresa May, as well as French President uh, Emmanuel Macron. A uh, White House readout of those phone calls came uh, on my email just about uh, two minutes ago. Uh, the three leaders agreed that the attacks were successful and were necessary to deter Assad from further use of chemical weapons. The president this morning in a tweet praising uh, his allies in this attack, as well as the men and women of the military, tweeting, quote, a perfectly executed strike last night. Thank you to France and the United Kingdom for their wisdom and the power of their fine military. Could not have had a better result. Mission accomplished, echoing the now infamous words of George Bush after the Iraq War. Officials from the National Security Council this afternoon said they have a large volume of clear and compelling evidence that Syria did in fact use chemical weapons in Douma last weekend, specifically and somewhat contradicting what we just heard Jennifer Griffin uh, say, Pentagon officials are saying, and the vice president, the NSC is saying sarin gas was used. Much of the evidence that they are pegging this to is documentary evidence, uh, video and photographs of victims showing obvious signs of asphyxiation, also foaming at the mouth, and something called meiosis. That's when your pupils contract to the point where they become like little pinpoints. Those are hallmark symptoms of sarin gas poisoning. They also have eyewitness accounts from the ground there. The NSC says that the barrel bombs that were used to deliver the gas, and there were some that were still intact, are, the very, are very similar to previous uh, poison gas attacks uh, in Syria uh, that have been uh, used in the last year since that attack uh, um, against uh, a Khan Sheikhoun, in which 200 people were killed, resulting in the first U.S. airstrike back on uh, the 7th of, uh, of uh, April of last year. Vice President Mike Pence, traveling in Lima for the Summit of the Americas, says he hopes last night's strike will change the behavior of not only Syria, but Russia and Iran as well. Listen here. But it's time for Russia to get the message that President Trump delivered last night that you're known by the company you keep denying on the world stage, offering resolutions that were properly rejected at the UN Security Council a few hours ago is not a pathway toward a, a better relationship with the United States of America and the wider world for Russia. Uh, Russia and Iran are on the wrong side of history. Russia, not surprisingly, has been belligerent in its response. The foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, calling the attack by the U.S., Britain, and France, quote, absolutely illegal, unacceptable. President Putin denouncing what he called an act of aggression against a sovereign state committed without a mandate from the U.N. Security Council and violation of the U.N. Charter and norms and principles of international law. NSC officials note that Putin called it an act of aggression which it clearly was. Anytime you fire missiles and bombs at somebody, that's pretty aggressive. But he did not uh, call it an act of war. They're also uh, very pleased that there has been no conflict with Russia so far. And Kelly, one other note that officials here at the National Security Council are uh, flagging us to, and that is they say the vaunted Russian anti-missile defense system was active and operative last night, but did not fire so this idea that Russia has created an impenetrable air defense system in Syria uh, really now has been disproven. Kelly? Another footnote to uh, last night's attack. And, of course, uh, the president of the United States going on to say that they are morally right to take out this, um, these chemical weapons. John Roberts reporting from our, from our White House. Thank you.